so hello students uh, in today's lecture uh, we would uh, more focus on chromophore and oxochrome concept uh, in the previous lecture we discussed about uh, various type of transitions available so uh, we look on like pi to pi star transition and n to pi star transitions are the major transitions uh, which show the ultraviolet spectroscopy uh, uh, the energy is absorbed by the orbital and it allows the electron to transfer to the another uh, anti-bonding orbital and which comes in the range of ultraviolet. Now, uh, what is uh, responsible for that uh, range is basically the functional group. So, chromophore is that uh, color bearing group. It is uh, because of that the color appears in the compound. And the chromophore uh, could uh, possess either uh, pi to pi star transition uh, like uh, alkenes, alkynes. So those unsaturated compounds do show uh, that pi to pi star transition. And at the same time, it uh, could be a C double bond O wherein you have a non-bonding orbital. At the same time, you have unsaturation. So pi to pi star and n to pi star both. So chromophore could have these uh, two possibilities. While oxochrome, if you see, oxochrome is uh, not which is having a color. It is basically a color enhancing group. So once it is attached in coordination with chromophore, it is going to increase the intensity of absorption. It is going to increase the wavelength and that's how it's going to increase the color. So like if you have benzene, you can see it's colorless and if you go to phenol, OH group is attached to it and likewise aniline. So NH2 group is attached to it. Now you can see the transitions in the color. So those functional groups which itself does not possess color, but in coordination with chromophore, they do excel that color. That particular uh, compound is known as oxochrome. So in this lecture, we'll see about chromophore and oxochrome concept.